it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Firstly, as ever, apologies for the appalling lighting. I say as ever, it doesn't always happen, but it's becoming a bit of a thing. Um, I think it's because we're getting closer to winter. Um, so as, as the sun is getting lower in the sky again, um, the shadows at the time of day when I can normally film are getting um, wrong. Let's just leave it at wrong. Anyway, this is the card I want to show you today. It's a really simple, really quick, really uh, minimal supply card. So it uses the Blended season stamp set, which as you probably know, is a limited edition stamp set. It's only available during August um, and it's only available whilst it's available. So we've got uh, spring, summer, we've got autumn, we've got um, Christmas, we've got whatever time of year you want, but I'm going for this sort of autumnally look. Um, round us, the wheat harvest is already in, um, or predominantly already in. It's very, very early, but it's because we've had this crazy uh, weather. Some super, super sentiments with really lovely um, curved and uh, block font, so it's, a, it's just a really nice set. So let's get started. As I say, minimal supplies. So, oh, I should say you can get in a bundle the stitched season framelits um, and you get these lovely uh, stitched frames and they're stitched on both sides. So it cuts down the middle of this frame and it stitches on both sides. So um, really nice. These will actually work independently. There is only one die, which is this one, um, which is for a, a stamp and that's for this bell stamp so it's not if you can live with the fact that that is not going to be much use to you then you could get the stitched seasons framelits on their own so i said minimal supplies and i kind of mean it uh so i have got is that the right piece yes a piece of whisper white cardstock this is just an off cut that I end up with when I'm cutting my mats. Um, so it really is a scrap. So I have already mounted my ears of wheat on a block. This is a C block. It will fit on a G block, which is the long thin one, but um, you can see through the C block better and as I'm using a very small piece of cardstock I need to be able to see where the stamp is in relation to the cardstock um, and with the G block it was not that easy because the G block was almost exactly the same width as the cardstock. So there we go. Memento ink because we're going to use blends. That is pretty much not quite all the stamping done but pretty close to all the stamping done. So um, I'm going to pop that to one, actually I'm going to say I'm popping it to one side, I'm going to actually trim it and I'm going to go for that much. Um, so we're doing very scientific trimming. I've got a scrap of copper foil card. Um, I'm going to use some tear and tape to stick that on and I know I haven't coloured my um, ear of wheat yet but I'm going to be brave and assume that I can colour a couple of ears of wheat okay. Um, but I'm using tear and tape as much as anything because we're sticking to a slick surface um, and uh, therefore the tear and tape is quite a nice adhesive to use. So I'm going to pop that down and needless to say my scrap is too large. I knew it would be. So I'm actually going to bring in larger scissors because I'm just going to be brave and cut. Now, if you could have seen me, I actually have my, you know, when you're concentrating and you put your tongue out and bite it, um, that's what I was doing. But there we go. So rather than fiddling around with, um, with my trimmer, which is great, but because I'm just using scraps, um, I'm comfortable doing that. And while we're at scraps, Here's a scrap of um, uh, crushed curry. Um, and again, uh, actually this time I'm going to use a bit of multi-purpose. You could use tear and tape again, but I'm going to use multi-purpose. 
And again, I'm just going to pop that on and just have a little bit of a frame around the outside. Now I'm going to leave that to dry whilst I do the colouring because um, again it's a slick surface onto card and it's a wet adhesive. So I have got three blends here. I've got Dark Daffodil Delight. I have got Light Soft Suede which is one of the new ones from the new catalogue and I've got Ivory. You don't really need the Ivory but I just liked to soften things just a teeny weeny bit. So first thing I'm going to do with my bullet end, um, so remember you have two ends of your blend, you've got a bullet end and a brush tip. The brush tip, do be careful if you are too brutal with it, it will, um, you'll damage it. But the bullet tip is great for just colouring in small areas. So that's what I'm going to use and I'm actually going to colour in I've just realised I've done that the wrong way around. Um, it's fine. I'm going to colour. It's fine. Um, I'm going to colour in the leaves first, or well, these leaves and these stems. Uh, once upon a time, I had a brain that actually worked. Now, however, other than my Alexa, I don't have a brain at all. <coughs> right. Dark, dark, light even, light, whoops, soft suede. And again, I'm using the bullet end and I'm just going to colour in the grains. And it is just a wee bit too dark for my liking, um, which is fine because we're going to blend it out. And I'll go over the Daffodil Delight that I've done and I will go back over this because just imagine that I've only done the soft suede because actually I just want to add in a bit of shadow. I'm going to have a shadow there and there and there and there. So basically I'm just putting a shadow where the stems overlap. Then with my Daffodil Delight, I am going to come over my soft suede and just tones it down a wee bit so it adds that golden tone. Um, and it is one of those odd things that doing soft, the light soft suede over the dark daffodil delight does not give quite the same colour. So you want to go soft suede then daffodil delight. The ivory I'm just using to blend in those shadows a bit um, and it just tones down the daffodil a wee bit. You can extend that if you want um, but it's it's not necessary and this step is not necessary. You could just leave it at the soft suede and the daffodil delight. Right, so trim so you've got a tiny border all the way around and I'm just going to be brave. Because it's so small and it's going to be in the middle of the card, it, there's less of a... Oh, is that right? So I'm going to put a tiny piece of tear and tape on the back and find my bent pokey tool. I do have a new one but it's fine for most things. It's just mostly for, it's mostly for picking up gems. I find that I do need the um, the actual tip. Um, right so I've got some copper uh, metallic thread and I'm just going to wrap it round kind of four fingers a bit splayed, preferably without sticking it to the tear and tape just yet. And there is no exact amount, it's some. Um, obviously the more you use, the more obvious it will be. So I'm just using some. Um, it's such an inexpensive embellishment that I really don't even think about it. Um, I mean, there's yards of it on a roll. So, of course, I am a demonstrator and therefore I get it at a discount, so it's even less expensive for me. Um, and remember, of course, you can always be a demonstrator. No one's stopping you. You don't have to, you don't have to sell. You can just be a demonstrator. So all I've done is um, stick that on the back of my tear and tape. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of squash it. It's a technical phrase that just, you know, put it, pull it out and then squash it a bit and then just 
fluff it so you've got a bit of a kind of mess sticking out and then grab your dimensionals and I am going to put one there just to help keep body and soul together but you probably only need two. Uh, the other reason for putting one there is that if the back of the tear and tape met the back of the card it might actually stay, stay put. I don't want that. I'm going to just fluff this out a bit more because it's all gone into a twizzle. Do a bit of fluffing. There we go. That's better. Right, so I've got a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock, um, which I have cut in half and scored down the middle. And then just burnish. And then remove the backings from your dimensionals. And pop this. Oh, it's not quite central. Right, so that's that. Then I've got the wishing you all the best sentiment again. And I'm just going to ink that up. And being brave, I just go straight onto my cardstock, hold it there for a bit, and bring it up. And that's beautiful. And then just a liner, because writing on pumpkin pie would be a challenge. Uh, it's not impossible, but it, it's going to be quite bright. Um, so I'm just going to ink up my ear of wheat again. Uh, the mat is my usual 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Nothing exciting. All the measurements, as ever, will be on my blog, which is linked immediately below, and it'll take you to the post for this project. And there we are. That's the inside of our card done. And I'm just going to pop that on with a little bit and I mean a little bit of liquid adhesive and it's just a scribble Might put a little bit in the middle but not very much and then we are done so there we are there's the one I prepared earlier and there's the actual one so couple of bits of cardstock um, and it's it's basically using up some scraps apart from the one sheet of pumpkin pie for both cards um, so yeah bits of bits of foil etc etc so while I clean my stamps um, remember that we have got the uh, blended seasons stamp set for the whole of August or while stocks last and also the stitched seasons framelits and a mini, only in that it's slightly smaller than the current um, watercolour pencils. Um, these, we have been told, may, or certainly the colours, may appear in future um, catalogues. We don't know when, we don't know if they definitely will, it is just a may. Um, but the others are just for this uh, promotion so only through August. The other thing that's going on through August is the bonus days. So for every £45 you spend or multiple thereof in any one order, and that's very important, through August you will get a voucher, a little code which is you get by email, um, which you can use in September. And for every £45 you spend, you get £4.50 to spend in September. Now, what that means, bearing in mind we've got the new Christmas catalogue coming in September, even if you only spend £45, you will cover your postage for September when you order your Christmas supplies. So it's just one £45 order in August will cover your postage. I mean, you'll have a few pence left, but basically will cover your postage. So... Um, look at £45 orders. Uh, if, you, um, if you're if you short, of just a little bit short, think of the, the new ink pads. They are only, if my memory serves me, £7 each. Um, you're going to want all the new colours, so if you haven't got them already, um, bonus days is the time to do it. 
Um, I'm just just reminding myself that they are forty uh, seven pounds each. Yes, they are. So get your new ink pads during bonus days, and then you get the money off in September of your Christmas order. Uh, I've seen the Christmas catalogue, and it's to die for. Um, I have to say my order was not small, but um, I will be doing project product shares and what have you, so um, I do tend to put in a large first order. So I have got more bonus days than you could shake a stick at now. Uh, the other thing to remember is that if you use my online store and you use the host code, which is in the description bar below and splatted all over my blog, um, if you use that code and order online at my online store for every £30 you spend or multiple thereof in any one order, you will get three sun, uh, sorry, one sunflower reward. So if you placed a £90 order, you would get three sunflower rewards and two bonus days. When you have 10 sunflower rewards, uh, you get to spend £30 of my money um, as a thank you for your, continued, your continuous support. So, great time to place orders that are multiple by 45 or 30. So, I think that's enough waffle for me. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I do apologise for, for the light. The alternative would have been that. Um, which is just annoying. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyhow, thank you very much indeed, and I look forward to seeing from you, uh, hearing from you again very soon. Bye!